Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another weekly edition of Into the Void! This is a game between Valma and Big Lewis on Frozen Temple. In the bottom right side of the map, we have the Red Terran player. It is Big Lewis or Big Louie. And in the top side of the map, on the left, we have the Blue Zerg player. It is Valma, representing Sursrio. <laughs> Sur. Sursrio? Sursrio? I'm gonna say Sursrio. Alrighty then. So again, this is our weekly examination of Bronze and Silver League play from the latter of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. If you too would like to send me your amazing and super fun Legacy of the Void into the Void replay, go ahead and shoot it to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void. I will send it to my screeners. They will determine which of the ones I get are the best and send them back and I will cast them. That is how it works. All right, so our friend Valma has no idea what he's doing right now. I think he's going to try to go for a hatch first play. He thought about getting an extract, then changed his mind, and then went for the pool when he had, like, 300 minerals. So, all right, this is definitely a low-level game, everybody. You can stop holding your breath that perhaps this was a diamond-level game that it snuck in because that was weird. All right, so went for the pool here. Now trying to sneak in and get a hatch. Yes, does get one. Very nice. All right, so maybe if he plans on getting some aggression now with this pool, or perhaps he's really just lost all of his stuff to a Reaper before, because Big Louie, I think I can call him that, Big Louie is going straight into a Reaper expand. Ready, set, 50 minerals, go, or 50 gas, rather, go. No, instead, going for the command center and just entirely skipping the Reaper. Okay, all right, got to get in the mindset here. This is definitely into the void right now. It was a picture-perfect Reaper expand. It really was. He just didn't get a Reaper. Which is so weird. Alright, so drone chasing an SCV all the way back home, which is counterproductive. Don't ever send your drones out this far away from the base. It will never, ever kill another worker at all. Trust me on that one. I have tried. So, now, does have gas coming in and not quite enough to get uh, speed yet, so I don't necessarily blame him for doing that one. But does he have any lings? Is he making anything here? No. All right. So here is the tip. If you're a Zerg player and you're not planning on being aggressive in the early part, or part of the game, go ahead and go hatch first and just get a ton of drones. If you get a pool this early and do nothing with it, it's just a complete waste of time. It really is. Drone desperately trying to catch this SEV might kill it. Might, I mean, depending on how much attention Big Louie is paying... Yeah, he's paying good attention. All right, so there it is. They get the surround on, ooh, on the drone, and then back on out, and then come back in. That was weird. That was a weird misclick by Big Louie. That might actually have been worth it for the drone. For all that last mining time and the fact that he died, that might have actually been enough, considering all those SCVs came off the line for as long as they did. But both players are getting workers up fairly well, droning up, SCVing up pretty darn efficiently to this point. It is 25 to 20 workers, which is not as bad as you would expect here. APM for these players, Terran sitting around 40 or so, Valma's averaging 75 on the game, which is about as good as you can expect at this level of StarCraft 2. Getting another extractor here, good, good. I don't know if there's any rhyme or reason to the timing on that extractor. It's another thing that kind of sets apart Into the Void games is you get expansions and upgrades and timings on weird, weird, weird spots. Good inject there by that queen. All right, so what is the plan here? Oh, double starport. Double starport with double... F hmm. So double barracks, factory, and a double starport with an expansion. He's not landed yet for Big Louie. Now, here's the thing, Big Louie. I understand it can be scary. It can be very scary to land your command center here with a big scary zerg outside. But, man, get a bunker. Get a tank right there. You will be just fine for quite a while. Valma is going for a Roach Warren. Excellent decision there. Spreading some creep as well. That is very nice indeed. And I like the lots of queen opener here from Valma. Queens are good at base defense. They're good against medevac drops from Terran. They're good against Hellions. They're okay against Hellbats, but good against Reapers too. So this is an excellent decision from Valma. I do love to see this happening from him. Double Evolution Chamber too. All right. So this early gas is making some more sense if he wants to get those upgrades started early. It seems like he does. Injects aren't the greatest, but they're not super bad either. This queen's only up to 33 total energy. We'll come back to her in a little, little bit later. See how she's doing. The creep spread, though, man. Using all the available energy for these queens. Fantastic. Fantastical. All right. It's good, good, good. So he landed the command center or orbital command. 
He did get the bunker built there as well, and he's double pumping Banshees. So a double port Banshee while he's going for a third command center. Big Louie's a macro player, you guys. Look at him go, getting two refineries here as well. Mmm, all right, so double cloaked Banshee could be really bad for Valma. Valma, okay, Lair's finished, which at the very least he can make an Overseer as soon as those Banshees show up. Which isn't ideal, but I mean, better than nothing, I guess is what I'll say here. <laughs> SCV sneaking on down, gonna go ahead and start mining there, and a Missile Turret popped up. I like the Overlord placement from Valma. Making sure anything that comes out that front door, there's at least a chance that Valma will see it. I'm not sure that he will, because watching the minimap while you're playing is really difficult. And perhaps not that prevalent at the bronze and silver level, but hey. Here come the Banshees. Dun, 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 dun. I guess I would sing Ride of the Valkyrie, but these aren't Valkyries. These are Banshees. Marine chasing away. Two Marines, rather. Sniping out that Overlord. And here come the Banshees. They have Cloak. The timing on this is pretty good. He's actually sending the Banshees out just so they will have Cloak as soon as they show up. Instead of waiting for it to, for, or waiting for it to finish and then coming across the map. So that's a good look. Bailing Nest on the way. I don't see any detection at all here. Oh, there is a Spore Crawler. <gasps> there is a Spore Crawler in the main. Oh, Valma. I take back everything bad I ever said about you. You made static defense. Good job. Good job, my friend. Um, one here would be good. Also taking a third hatch would be excellent. So here come the Banshees, and bam, sniping everything down, taking shots from Queens, taking shots from Spore Crawlers to run, run. That was smart, actually, finding a spot where you're not seen by the Spore Crawler and then just wailing away, forcing a full pull, which, again, is a nice move by Valma, getting his drones out of there so the ban uh, Banshees do not crush them to death. Overseer Cocoon morphing in exactly as I expected what happened. In the meanwhile, there's the Overseer, and here come all of the Queens... Forcing the Banshees to get a full retreat, which I like, actually. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say there's no reason in sacrificing your Banshees for nothing, as he kind of just did there. But still, this one's still alive. This one has three kills. Be so careful with that edge, though. Mm, all right, never mind. So the Banshees died. <laughs> Resources lost to have 500 to 450. So pretty even at that point. Uh, five workers have been killed so far by the Terran player. And Valma has killed absolutely nothing. Valma, go for a third base, dude. You have enough workers to go for a third base. I mean, this one's oversaturated anyway. Good injects coming up. Stacking injects even, or rather queuing them up. Creep spread looking fairly pretty. Kind of stalled out right now. When Banshees show up, it does tend to stop your creep spread if you're not a professional level player. And there's that third base being upgraded to a planetary fortress. Big Louie! Big Louie, you know what you're doing. Fourth base, or third base rather by Valma being taken here. I said fourth because this is usually the fourth with the third being, you know, kind of safe and here and already creep spreaded, but that's all right. A lot of spore crawlers for Valma. How do you know the Terran player is still going for Banshee? You do not. Pro tip. Yes, there are two here, but that's it. It's not like it's going to be a mass Banshee play. I'm not sure the spore crawler is entirely necessary, but once again, once cloak Banshees have showed up, sometimes some of your rational thinking goes out the window. Tank. Going into siege mode. And, I mean, just both players taking a breath right now. Stim on the way. Concussive shells on the way for Big Louie. Is that plus two, plus two? It is. Valma's going for plus two, plus two for his missile and his carapace. And getting tunneling claws. Does he get it burrow? That's the question, though, right? Does he have... He has burrow. When did he get burrow? All right. So we're seeing some burrow roach here. This guy's been watching Guru, man. This guy's been watching some of those Zerg players on the channel. A laser actually did that more recently, but... All right, so I like this. On the way, creep spread has now arrived. Hatchery pops. Drones moving on down. The music sounds way more epic than what is happening here in this game. <laughs> All right, how are the upgrades looking? Siege tanks, nothing. Bio, nothing. Flying units, nothing. Alright, so no attack or defense upgrades whatsoever from our Terran player. I guess it could be worse. Could be worse. Except for the fact that the Roaches and Ravagers and Queens will have plus two, plus two very, very soon. Spire on the way here as well. I love this double expand from Valma. Looking great. Hasn't done anything with this, which is a problem. He has a lot. A lot of money. How many... No, that's not what I wanted. Units. Larva. He only has four Larva. This is why your injects are so important, Zerg players. Yes, they're up now, but... He could be able to just basically get up to 80 workers here very easily. 
off these four bases and not have to worry about it ever again. But again, that is what separates the bronze from the not bronze players in StarCraft 2. So, making more Banshees. So perhaps my earlier criticism of Valma was unwarranted, because this is quite a few Banshees here. Again, with no upgrades whatsoever. Three Armories under construction. Why? I guess if you want to go for all three of these at the same time, you can. Is he mecking? Is Big Louie trying to mech here? It sure seems like it. Yeah, he has some Marauders. Yes, he has some Marines, but that's a lot of tanks. And this is a lot of Banshees as that Overseer gets sniped on down by the 100 missile turrets that he has in this particular section of his base. Alright, armories do stuff, man. I believe in you. If you're going to go mech... Ooh, 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 I saw that. Nidus, Nidus Worm. Where is it? Nidus Worm. Nidus Network on the way. Hive on the way, too. Valma's playing this pretty well. I mean, no, he's still not mining from that base. And no, he's still not mining from that base. But... <laughs> But I do absolutely love the Nidus. I love the upgrades. I love the Roach play. He's getting plus one melee attacks too, which just Roaches against this many tanks is intimidating. It's a problem. Maybe that's why you Nidus Worm up here. Armories were built. Nothing is being researched there at all. Big Louie seems entirely adverse to upgrading, which is sad for all the Terran fans on the channel who want to see Terran win this one. Banshee here locking down the absolutely empty expansion. She's like, why? Why are there no drones here? Oh, well, I guess I'll take down this hatchery by myself. Queens marching in with an overseer. He did not forget the overseer. Excellent play. And the Banshee thinks she's going to take out three queens at the same time. Not going to happen, I'm afraid. The rest of the Banshees come in, though. They are getting rid oh, of the hatch. Can they get the hatch in time? Roaches can't do anything in this situation. And indeed, the Banshees are going... To get the hatch, no big deal. Well done, taking out an entire hatchery. I guess maybe you snipe down roaches now. Blop, blop, blop. From the sky, queen against this many banshee. The banshees think they can do this. Transfuse actually being used here to some extent. Where did the overseer go? The overseer left. Oh no, the overseer left the battle. The queens were left alone. France fuses keeping them alive. Three banshees retreating, moving up into the main base. Any static defense here? There's a single spore crawler and one clear down here that's been almost useless. Banshees really want this extractor to go away, and they'll be able to get it. Any upgrades yet? No, but more and more banshees coming up. All right, if there are this many banshees, you got to have mutas. you got to have corruptors. you got to do something with it. Is there a spire? Yes, Valma has a spire, but not... Oh, not making corruptors. All right, making corruptors. I believe. Not sure why the scan there, but that's okay. So getting chased here. Banshees are fast. But not as fast as Corruptors, at least not without their Hyperflight Rotor upgrade. Big attack. Marines, Marauders, Tanks. Banshee's going to take out this hatch finally, even though literally nothing has been mined from this base at all. Zero things have been mined. Single Corruptor trying to come in. The Roaches want to kill these tanks before they get Siege. Can't quite do it. Nice Burrow, though. Oh, getting right on top of the tanks. The Banshee is trying to lay waste to them from the air. Can the Roaches kill all of them? The Scan, though. The Scan. All right. So there are some Lings streaming on in here. Lings pretty good in this situation. Actually good against tanks. If they can get close enough. Pretty good against this number of Marines as well. And there's a single tank. And some Marines here against this many Corruptors. Raider Spire on the way for Valma, too. This hatch might actually get saved, depending on what Valma is making here. A lot of Hydras. Uh, I mean, uh, yes, Hydras are a good answer to the Banshees. But are there still seven out there? Holy cow, I thought they were gone. All right, Big Louie has seven Banshees. The hatch is going to die because nothing even started coming over here to save it in time. I guess some Hydras did try showing up, but man, were they late. Broodlings clearing out those Marines, and can they get the tank too? Haha, <laughs> with support of these Lings, they sure did. That's hilarious. Replanting the hatch immediately. Good job, Valma. Don't give up. This base is going to be a planetary fortress, but not if it dies first. These Lings, ah, forcing the cancel and the liftoff. Plus two, plus one on these guys. Killing a bunch of SCVs there as well. Corruptors, get the, get the command center. Ling's getting eaten alive by that planetary fortress. The Hydras will too if you're not careful. You guys are so close to killing that thing. So darn close. Taking some tank fire in exchange for dealing with that refinery. 
And the Banshee is looking for blood. Corruptors, get it! Corruptors, you can get the... <laughs> Alright, not gonna get it. Instead, deciding to pull back. Strategically pull back to a better location. Creep spread looking really good for Valma. Actually, it's about halfway across the map here, which is not too shabby. In my personal estimation. Overlord, pooping the creep in this location, which seems a little out of place, but that's a-okay. And drones, happily mining. All right, how are we looking? 39 to 37 workers. I feel like Valma has 39 workers, or has had 39 workers forever and ever, amen. And it's just refusing to do anything with it. Queens, trying to get this number of banshees. Where's that overseer? Here it is. Uh-oh, these queens are in trouble now. Getting shot at by corruptors and by queens. Two of them die immediately. Another one dies too. Ooh, corruptors, man. Even without upgrades, do pretty well in that particular situation, don't they? All right, so this base now trying to land the threat is over the threat is gone and this base happily mining sort of yeah Valma's refusing to drone up that is a problem all right Valma pro tip having 49 workers not enough not enough okay it looks like you did make a bunch from the 35 but you really want to have anywhere from 65 to 80 I would say against a Terran player especially against a mecking player you need to be able to remax immediately look at this interesting strategy here from Big Louie, supply depot wall protecting a planetary fortress. Not bad. I actually like it. Yes, Lings can still sneak on by this way, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. So this is how Valma is dealing with our Terran player. A Ling Hydra Corruptor play. Oh, I'm a liar. Broodlord. Broodlord play. Vikings coming out from Big Louie. And anything else that can attack from the air what the he has 16 vikings all right never mind big louie has been paying a lot more attention than i have he has 16 vikings sitting here with their butts glowing orange all right here it is brood lords trying to save the day widow mine shot oh big time widow mine shot gotta be careful with that one and the skin and the scout big louie sees exactly what is going on here valma trying to sneak on in Eight kills on that Widow Mine before it dies. It looked like that one committed suicide, but I don't think that's possible. That base has landed for Big Louie. I don't know that Valma wants to attack right into this, especially with the tanks and the Widow Mines. I would honestly try to starve Big Louie out here, killing outlying expansions, but instead, the Vikings absolutely making mincemeat of these Corruptors. The Broodlords need to run. They need to run now. Good. Oh my gosh, one volley just absolutely kills them. 14 damage versus armored times two. Yeah, that's 28. That's 28 damage per volley, which really adds up when you have that many Vikings. What a great counter by Big Louie. Says, you have Corruptors, I have 100 million Vikings, and I'm afraid now that I can't do anything with this base. Why are you le Why are you leaving? Cyclone, triple Cyclone production coming up for Big Louie. Vikings desperately trying to make themselves useful. I guess they could land here and probably take out most of these drones before Big Valma. Big Valma? Before Valma reacted. Ah, actually going Viper. Haven't seen Viper in a while. Parasitic bomb being dropped. Ooh, run. Run, Vikings. Don't get clumped together like that. Oh, Cyclones. Another parasitic bomb used and the Viper's running. Cyclones pretty good, though. Not bad, actually. Holy oh, parasitic bomb. Wow, really whittling that number of Vikings down. But the Cyclones by themselves are pretty much just going to town. Banelings crashing in. Pretty good. Pretty darn good there against the, uh, the Cyclones. There's still a lot. With the tank support here, too, not shabby at all. They're going to get that hatch. They do. They kill the hatch. They get rid of the broodlings with the tank. No upgrades at all. Once again, we do have, I want to remind you, three armors here ready to go. Ready to upgrade, but not in the plans for Big Louie today. Single queen. Gets destroyed. A few corruptors come in to try to clean out the rest of these Vikings. But I think the Cyclones are your bigger worry here. And corruptors not very good against them. Cannot attack ground units. Okay, so this does not look like the best siege of all time, but remember, it is into the void here. So, <laughs> this many tanks might just be insurmountable. 
Lings desperately trying to kill the Cyclones do kill two of them, which is nice. Broodlords are morphing in. And the Lings get on top of the tanks. Splash damage, killing their friends as much as they're killing the Lings here. Mm, sweet spot for those Lings, though. Inside the minimum attack range for all of the tanks. And they will all die because Big Louie refuses to move them into non-siege mode and try to get away. So Big Louie decided to land here instead of up here, which was a scary faraway place. He's still done nothing with it, mind you. But it's there. This base mining fairly happily. I like the missile turret planetary fortress combination. Banshees very low on health are scouting these broodlords. Uh, broodlords, I don't know what you're going to do here. I'm just going to say it. Oh, great. Burl, though. He burls the workers. Nice job. Where's the overseer? Where's the overseer? Dang it, Valma. Where's the overseer? Doesn't have one. Had to morph one in. That's okay. I mean, the opponent has just shown a propensity to make 100 million cloaked banshees this entire game. So maybe having an overseer would be good. Overseer this way. Over here this way. There it is. And now this way? Alright, good enough. Banshees are gone. Resources lost tab. 19,200 for Valma. 14,800 for Big Louie. So once again, Zerg is taking a lot of heavy losses, but it is 40 to 41 total harvesters. Four workers killed by Valma. 17 workers killed by Big Louie. Tanks. Killing their own missile turret. I think that was an accident? Was that an A-move situation that just went bad? Might have been. Alright, so it is some Broodlords, some Corruptors here. Just trying to make things work. A lot of Zerglings. Actually, a lot of Zerglings. And triple pumping Vikings making another Planetary Fortress. Finally doing something with this base is Louie. Using Consume on the Viper. I do like the Viper play from Valma. It's been good. Hasn't been super game changer but it's been good. Widow Mines. Just not even a Widow Mine drop. Just a straight up walk into your opponent's base, Widow Mine drop, and massacre your drones. Five workers killed there. Seven in total here. 23 workers killed now by Big Louie. Spore Crawlers coming up. And a Spine Crawler getting planted too. And Ling's running in. Will the Spore Crawler finish? In time before the Widow Mine hits again. I don't think it will. I'm pretty sure it won't, actually. Oh, it's going to be close, though. Here it is. Well, the Spine Crawler is not going to finish regardless. So check it out. You can see them. They're still going to smash you in the face. Dude. Ten kills on that one. Widow Mine, four kills total. Another landing the Vikings. I don't know if that was a great idea because there are Broodlords overhead. But either way, they're going to kill a lot of drones. A lot of Lings here, too, actually going down. Oh, they're focusing on the Broodlings. That's not good. Can't focus on Broodlings. you got to kill the drones. Oh, the burrow on the drones, though, keeping them alive. Vikings slowly getting whittled down by these three Broodlords and Queens. And they're all gone. Surprising decision there from Big Louie, I'm going to say. All right, Widow Mines slowly creeping forward onto this creep. They can't kill structures, so they can't get rid of the creep tumors. So I'm not sure what exactly their plan is there. Lings rejoining this army. A lot of Corruptors in the air. Broodlords here too. Upgrades seem to be non-existent for both of these players. And here it is. Lings and Broodlings on top of these tanks. Blinding Cloud being used on the Thor so they can attack anything outside their immediate area. That's insane. Look how good that's working out. Another tank is going to fall there. Broodling just absolutely massacring these Thors. Caustic Spray could be used by the Corruptors. I'm not sure that Valma knows that exists. The Repair. The Clutch Repair on the Thors. Keeping them alive. Look at that go. Six kills, seven kills, nine kills. But again, the distance attacks really taking their toll on the Thor. That one does explode despite the attempted repair of the SCVs. This Thor taking shots. Throwing shots up too. They actually got an additional attack in the current patch of StarCraft 2. This one is a one patch away. As this is when it was submitted to me. But we will see more of that once we get something on the current version of StarCraft. Legacy of the Void. Hmm. So at this point, if I had to put my money somewhere, I would say I would put it on Big Louie. I feel like his reaction time has been pretty good against everything the Zerg has tried to do. I like the fact that he has Vikings here against the Broodlords. Yes, these Vipers are scary. 
But Vikings against Broodlords are scarier. Look at that. Look how fast they die. Whoa, bam. One volley, two volley. One volley, two volley. Getting the Vipers would be good in this situation too, but the Vikings seem to be a little bit tunnel focused. No, they did take it out. They did get it, and the Queens do manage to chase them away. Resources lost, 25,000 by Valma, 22,000 lost by Big Louie. And once again, Valma hasn't really been able to kill a base of his opponents yet. He did force a liftoff down here earlier, but once it was established, just hanging out, same thing down here. Just neither player's really been able to get maxed out, which I think is what our problem is. Um, as they always say, macro is kind of what gets you out of Bronze League. It's just... Yeah, decision making is good, but if you can just out macro your opponent, you're going to win more games than you lose, and that's enough for a promotion. Ling's showing up a little bit late to the party. Some tanks showing up with a Thor, so a tank Thor combo. Doing fairly well for themselves. Again, if there were upgrades on this Thor, it'd be a little bit scarier, but regardless, they get a queen. They get an extractor. Blinding Cloud being used once again on this Thor. Not a super great effect, but they did take it out in the end there. More and more Corruptors on the way for Valma heading up to the north. Small group of Marines and Marauders trying to sneak on up. But absolutely getting met and massacred by... A no, you had it! You had that, Lings. I guess maybe you'll let the Broodlords do it, but... Ah, they come up here to deal with this run by of Hellions. That was pretty good. Again, the burrow on the drones. Good reaction time by Valma. So there are good parts of Valma's game. Now the Lings come back in to finish off these absolutely unupgraded Marines and Marauders. Man, when in doubt, upgrade. Alright, so the fundamentals that we're missing here are upgrades, as well as the continued production of drones and SCVs. Because both players have enough supply, I guess Big Louie doesn't quite have enough supply, but Valma, if he had these bases fully saturated, instead of having four, ten, seven workers here, some workers here too, he could just absolutely get up a huge army of whatever he wanted. I think a maxed out upgraded Ling army could probably win this thing for Valma. I mean, yeah, there's planetary fortresses, yeah, there's some banshees, but I just feel like the Lings would be enough to take this out. There's just not that much here for Big Louie, you know what I mean? And that might be kind of what he's doing. He has actually a pretty good number of links here. 50 total. 50 links, 2 Broodlords, 4 Vipers, 5 Queens, and 3 more Broodlords in production. How is that Viking count looking? Uh, 5? 5 is good. 5 is good. This base looks like the next target for Valma. How's he doing here with that site? He doesn't know it's there, but he knows there's a planetary fortress. So I guess he has to assume, or a, a missile turret rather. So he assumes there's the PF here. <gasps> Upgrades! Big Louie's getting plus one infantry weapons, getting combat shield at the 28th minute in this game, and Ultra is making their first appearance for Valma at about the same time. All right, here we go. Just patrolling back and forth, trying to get all limber, trying to stretch up before the big game. I've actually stopped stretching before basketball. I read somewhere a few months ago that stretching actually may tend to like make things more susceptible to getting torn and pulled for muscles. So I stopped, and it's actually been working out pretty well, I think. All right, do or die right now for Valma. Nope, gonna chase the Banshees. When in doubt, chase the Banshees. Why do you not have any Corruptors to deal with this? Queens desperately trying to stop the Banshees before they kill the Hatch. Can they get it? They do manage to force them away. This link count is dwindling right now. Just morphing in Banshees in the face of this Sky Terran attack. 12 Marines in production at the same time. Double pumping Thors here. Both players getting over 200 or rather over 100 supply. Which is great. The Overseers need to stop running away. Overseers, follow these Banshees. They cannot shoot you back. You'll be just fine. But whatever happened there, it was enough to force our friend Valma back. However, has he found his courage? Has he discovered what he needs to do to win this game? Lings getting a full surround on that planetary fortress. Banelings crashing on in too. Is there enough DPS to take it down? I do not know. Ultra, don't attack that thing. Broodlords, help. Hmm, good use of Parasitic Bomb on the Banshees. And is it enough? The Repair! Oh, but the Repair is not going to work if the SCVs are all dead. 
Ultra does get taken down by the PF, who has 25 kills to his name. Can it stay alive? I don't know. Come on, Brewlord, do this thing. You can get it. Big old attack of a lot of Marines here, though. Almost non-upgraded Marines. They do have combat shield. They do have plus one, but man... Almost there. The Planetary Fortress wins with 46 total kills. Vikings trying to find those Broodlords, and they do find them. Good angle of attack here from Big Louie. Going to snipe at least two of them down, probably get more. Depending on how focused they are. And yeah, a lot of Corruptors mixed in. No upgrades on these guys either. The Marines absolutely tearing through this. <coughs> like they have nothing else to do. Overstimming themselves? We've seen this more than once. And the spine crawler just one shotting these guys. Kapla, kapla, before it dies. Marines. Focusing down the corruptors. Getting rid of overseers here, too. The banelings. Alright, so the banelings pull it off. Is that the second into the void we've seen? Where there's just a huge group of marines that come in late into the game and then banelings just wreck them? I think it might be. I think we saw the same thing last week, which is kind of entertaining. Going for round two with the Banelings, though, is Big Louie. <laughs> no base here for you to kill, Big Louie. There's a sneaky one down here, though, I don't think you know about. Okay, he can see the creep, so he suspects there's something there if he's paying attention. Banelings trying to get a blind side here, and they... And they do... I guess, to keep it simple. Wow, that's a lot of dead marines, ladies and gents. The thing is, though, that's a lot of gas loss for the Zerg, too. So, I mean, it's not like he killed the marines and he still has an army. He's still down 50 to 65 total supply. Making more and more lings, making more and more marines. Big Louie believes, man. He believes in this marine composition, and I can't say that I blame him. Corruptors running around trying to find Vikings to kill, I guess. Caustic Spray here would be a good option. For these corruptors, but once again, I'm not sure that Valma knows it exists. Right here, stream of acid that deals seven damage per second for 4.3 seconds, then increases to 35 damage per second. Marines coming up the frequent of the way. Once again, the upgrades not great. The plus two, plus two on the lings and the banelings should be enough to deal with this. Spine crawler explodes lings trying to get on top of this deal and actually yeah i mean especially with the over stim aspect mm, the banelings taking out more than enough stuff here another base explodes here the banshees came back around took out that hatch big louie's looking good everybody big louie has bases here here and here newly constructed newly mining this base is happily being mined out this base is mined out big louie making it work despite the fact that he lost his entire banshee fleet once again how many does he have left? Zero. He's going very marine heavy. 47 marines, 28 marauders, two ravens, and two tanks. Wait, that's SCVs. I'm a liar. It's one marauder. That's all it is. Oh, caustic spray. Caustic spray, Valma. Try to repair through that one, Big Louie. Not going to happen. You were very surprised by this, I bet. As the puking from the corruptors, enough to take out the planetary fortress. Can't do anything to these SCVs, mind you. It can't be used on anything but buildings, but... Still, these two lings are going to go in and knock down this orbital command all by their lonesome. The marines coming up to the same place, same bat time, same bat channel. Are there any banelings here this time? I don't see any. Reinforcements are dead, but another hatch has fallen. That's so many dead hatches. This ultra, oh, was there an ultra? I thought I saw an ultra. Nope. No ultra. All right. All right. So these marines, a bit more of a problem for Valma than they should be. But they are here. They are inside the main base. Haven't ever seen this Nidus network used, which is a bit of a disappointment. But in the end, there are more important things, I guess. Marines, a little bit distracted. Not quite sure what they want to attack. They are going to take out this hive. And I don't think... Why doesn't... Valma doesn't care, man. He's just killing bases where he can. That base is under reconstruction, though. That base is still already up. The Marines do get the hive. The Marines turning their attention to whatever they can find. I think they're trying to kill some of these larvae, which is a little bit counterproductive. They're going after the spawning pool to some extent, getting the evolution chambers. Which means that broodlings pop out. And if you're not careful, you might lose a few units to those broodlings. Marines chasing around all the overlords, trying to supply block our Zerg hero. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon, as Valma does have 196 total supply. Broodlings raining down those from the broodlords. Corruptors are here too. 
getting shots off, doing their extra damage, 20 damage versus massive, and guess what? Buildings are massive. At least this one is. Are the Marines still doing damage? They are. They're still doing damage back here. They've killed a lot of stuff, but finally the Queens come in. These plus two, plus two Queens should be enough to deal with it. Corruptors really, really, really want that command center. Can they get it? How about this one? They got that one. They really want this one, though. Even the fact of getting shot in the face by a missile turret just to make it happen. And no, the Orbital Command lives. What a clutch play there by Big Louie. Nicely done, my good friend. This Marine has one kill to his name and 27 hit points. And desperately wants to kill this Baneling Nest. He knows that when he does kill it, Broodlings will come out and murder him. But he doesn't care. Too many of his friends and his brethren have been taken from him. Wait. No. <laughs> Oh no, the Queen's noticed him at just the last second. This is still going to die, mostly thanks to him. But the Broodlings have no one to take their revenge on. So this is a weird composition. Tank. Siege tank. Raven. And Ravens are expensive. Wait, Corruptors, what are you doing? Just kill them. All right, Corruptors decided they have better things to do than killing Ravens. That's another big old Marine count. Still more upgrades? No, no upgrades. No upgrades at all. This game, man. This is a knock em down, drag em out slugfest. Both players losing over 40,000 resources. Auto turrets being used to try to kill, I guess, creep tumors? That's fine, I suppose. Hunter Seeker Missile. I'm going to have to take down a Broodlord to about half HP. Nothing to write home about, I suppose, which is why we don't see more of them. So they're spending their money fairly well. I mean, they really are. Yes, there's a lot of minerals here for Valma, but uh, Big Louie has kept his under quadruple digits for most of this game, from what I can tell. Missile turret with two kills, chasing away this small sky. Zerg army marines again, trying to win the day. And for all the tier three units we've seen in this game, I think it might just be the Marines that make this thing work. They absolutely ravage the main base of Valma. They're taking out one of the more important mining bases here. There's not much that Big or Valma can do about it. Replacement spawning pool gonna die too, although, no, it did die, surprisingly. Small attacks on here from Broodlords, just not enough to be a critical mass of Broodlords, I guess, these drones. Ran away, but Marines really want to kill them, but leaving them alone for now. These Marines need to be doing stuff, but I guess the concern are these Broodlords right on the front door. Big Louie yet again making Vikings to counter the evil, evil Broodlords that are right at his front door. But in the meantime, he's losing barracks, he's losing missile turrets, he's going to lose this planetary too. The Marines heading north once again to take revenge on their dead brethren. More and more Overlords getting taken out getting shot at and murdered from below by these marines. Are there enough? Is there a place for these guys to hide or is that as far as they can go? That's as far as they can go. That's going to be a massacre. Lings once again trying to deal with the marines marching up and fairly well with the assistance of the queens. They clear them out. That's a lot of dead overlords though. Once again, Valma not supply block just because of his inability to macro at this point. If he had a bigger army, that would be scarier. Scan getting rid of the creep tumors that have absolutely taken over most of what's going on here. <clears throat> Queens. Yeah, not bad. Queens with 2-2 two, two upgrades. Good against Marines with very few upgrades. Drones and Lings in here. Trying to kill all these workers and they get it. Gonna force a lift off, but guess what? Caustic Spray works on lifted off buildings as well. I think this is just going to die. Both players refusing to tap out. Refusing to go home. Refusing just to take a loss. Big Louie placing a lot of faith in these Marines. Bum. All right, here we go. I, <laughs> I'm just kind of at a loss for words right now. It's just been these little, like, left hook here, right jab there. I guess there have been some pretty big haymakers when this main base got essentially wiped out. But, I mean, is Valma just going to get killed by buildings at this point? How many buildings does he have? He has a hatch. He has four extractors, two spore crawlers as the marines come marching in. 
Yeah, I mean, you, I think he has fewer than 10 buildings right now, which is not good. Marine's getting rid of one of those. And the Ling's come in. Again, the Ling combination with the Queen's enough to take them out. Big Louie is refusing to upgrade, which I think is a bit of an obstacle here. These Marines decide to head on home. This base replanted by Big Louie, and I think these are the death knells of Valma. If Valma can't expand, this is it. I mean, one mining base is not going to do it against this Terran player. Yes, I suppose the Terran player is on one mining base himself, but he has more production facilities. Army supply is 50 to 27. I think a lot of those are Marines. Yeah, 39 Marines total. Um, and considering how well the Lings have been doing against Marines, good Ling counterattack here from Valma. This is turning out to be a little bit closer than you would expect, so more dead SCVs. There are nine SCVs left for Big Louie. Yes, there are 16 drones, <clears throat> but this is a big stinking deal. Is there anything here to save these dudes? There's a bunker, but the Mer Zerglings are not going to be distracted. They're trying to kill the tank. All right, that didn't work with the Planetary Fortress setup. Replanting a base up here is Valma, and the Marines are heading back on home. So, Baneling Nest being remade by Valma. He has decided that Banelings are what he wants to use to deal with these Marines, so Banelings he shall have. Big Louie pushing out again for the umpteenth time with Marines with a plus one attack and not much else to show for it. Am I losing my voice? <clears throat> Ah, quick drink there. Just enjoying the music right now. All right, let's put ourselves in these players' shoes. If you're Big Louie, what do you do here? You've seen a lot of lings. You've seen a lot of queens as well, I think. Yeah, I mean, you upgrade your Marines, you go Marine Tank, right? This Marine Tank pushes you very well against Ling and Queen. That's really, that's all that there is, especially. I think you're going to be okay. Forcing a cancel on that base. Forcing the cancel was massive. Big Louie didn't even necessarily have to get up there to force that out. So income right now is actually fairly high for both of the players. About 500 to 700 for Big Louie. 15 to 5 Harvesters, though. Big Louie is trying to replace... Or replace these SCVs, but it is going fairly slowly for him. The Marines moving out. No medevacs. That's the other thing. I would get some medevacs, because you know what? You have starports here. Oh, he's getting medevacs. He heard me. All right. So exactly as planned. Medevacs, tanks, Marines, Ravens, fine. Whatever. Clear, clear out this creep if you can. Lings running around, making sure there are no secret bases being taken by Big Louie. Nothing to worry about down there. If you can sneak in and massacre this one, though, you're going to be in a good spot. Big Louie trying to make sure that doesn't happen while at the same time being aggressive, which is so difficult. So difficult to do. All right, so what is this? We have Banelings. We have a lot of Banelings. Broodlords, fine. Queens here, too. This army might be in trouble. I like what Valma has going on right now. Do you want to knock down these rocks? They're very close to being knocked down. Nope. Wants to leave those alone. Lings. Banelings. Oh, Banelings. Absolutely melting. That entire ball of Marines. Coming from a sneaky angle, too. Nicely done, Valma. Coming right on in. This base is going to die. The remaining SCVs getting killed. Down to two total SCVs for our Terran player. Is the Zerg going to win this thing? The Zerg might just win this thing. Point defense drone being used, but to what effect? It's keeping them alive for now, but small group of Marines here getting chased by Lings and Banes trying to get to the safety of that bunker. Not going to happen. But the missile turret in the bunker enough to chase them away. <laughs> this is so low econ right now. It's 11 to 2 total workers. Corruptors trying to get rid of that orbital command. Can they get it? No. Banelings though, man. Banelings, man. More Banelings getting morphed on in. The Broodlords are trying to set up another siege. And that's it. That's the Rage Quit. <laughs> the Rage Quit from Big Louie. Valma is victorious. Woo! So Zer gets the win today in our 44 minute and 25 second ZVT that again 
was everywhere on this map. There were, I don't think there was a single expansion that wasn't taken at some point. That is awesome. That makes an awesome game in my book. And no, nobody ever got maxed out. And no, there weren't any huge battles. But man, the decision making on display. Big Louie, I think, got hung up on his marine production a little bit too much there. And at this stage in the game, if they aren't upgraded well, Lings just do so well in that situation. Resources lost 51 to 49,000. Big Louie not losing as much, but that's A-OK. -okay. 70 workers killed by Big Louie. 59 workers killed by Valma. And in the end, the Zerg player takes it. So I hope you were entertained. I hope you were educated in this week's edition of Into the Void. Because this has been Falcon Paladin. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself. And so you must run And it's taken your heart And broken your soul You cannot go back Until you're made whole
searching into the void. to the void